Well, David, we didn't see you last week. You were off with your operation. Mm. Looking at you, you've got all your limbs together. So I assume it, it was a success. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone as uh, as successfully as we wanted to. Obviously, it's only um, short space of time, but it, it's still sore. But as I said, I managed to get in there, I managed to drive. So I'm pleased with it. Bring back memories of you playing days. Yeah, that's why reason why I stopped because I remember I couldn't pick my little boy up when he was born. So. Um, no, I think when you've had you know twenty, I think it was twenty years of playing and uh, enjoyable. It's time to hang up your boots, but that's why I enjoy it more on the training ground. Whilst you've been away, there have been a number of arrivals in terms of players coming to the club: Steve Foster, Kevin Samwith, and Chris Smith, and Adam, a, Smith. And Adam Smith as well. Mister, uh, there's a lot of Smiths there. Yes. In terms of those players, obviously replacing players that have left, but just pick out a few there for us that, and the reasons why you were attracted to those players. Well, all four players have, um, you know, I've been ad admirers of for a, a long time. Uh, I must say that, you know, the, the, the Adam Smith was the first one. Um, great pace, uh, dynamic. Certainly can play on either wing, which is a, an exciting player. Can play off the top man as well, which is um, pleasing. So it gives me that flexibility in the front line. And that had to be done very quickly because I was very, um, very aware of other clubs uh, that would be certainly looking at Adam. Um, good character, location, perfect for us, and um, delighted to have him on board. He, he's an exciting player, and I'm sure the fans will uh, will like his type of play. Um, Chris Smith, uh, the, the centre centre half, um, Tamworth's captain, um, reliable, dependable, uh, focused man and certainly um, knows the division, knows how to play the division, which is imperative, um, and, and a leader of men. So, you know, I'm very pleased with um, Chris coming on board. And then we had um, uh, Fozzie, obviously, you know, the fans uh, delighted. I'm sure they'll be pleased with um, Steve coming on board, an, an old favourite, uh, 35 years old, but certainly lean, capable, passed the, the fitness test, no problem. And um, and delighted to have somebody with his maturity um, and leadership skills on, on board with us, um, and then obviously uh, a local man. So I'm pleased to to have that because I think that the commitment to the club is is everything we've seen at many clubs. Um, how important that is that they have an established player who fans recognise in the local area. So and having met Steve um, on a few occasions, we um, delighted to have him here in the in the end and. And then obviously Kevin Sandwith. Kevin, I tried to get Kevin earlier in the season. I couldn't um, due to his commitment at Oxford. I spoke to Chrissy Wilder about him. Um, again, dependable, reliable, and that's I think you know the back line was somewhere we had we had to in, uh, had to improve on. Something that all four players have in common that I get the feeling is that they were all sought after by other clubs. So isn't it testament to this club that these players have been attracted to Field Mill? Yeah, I'm delighted. You know, say, you know, I've, I've had to work very hard to to get those boys on in uh, in this club. Um, you know, I, I interviewed them if you like, and, and sat down with them and make sure that you know their their commitments there. And certainly, all four boys have uh, have settled in, as you say, very quickly. And I'm delighted to have them uh, on board with us, and uh, they'll certainly uh, be a. a bring the quality that we're looking for. Three defensive players brought in. We were talking earlier in pre-season about the fact that you had let go a number of defensive players. So, shoring up at the back, and there's a lot of experience in that back line, something that maybe you felt was needed if we look at maybe the, the second half of the season just gone. Yeah, that, that's absolutely right. We we wanted to improve. Um, and I think that knowledge and experience, obviously you can't give the young players straight away, and it does take a time for, to mature. But when you've got players like Kevin and uh, Steve, and um, Chris, you know, they've they've been in this division. They've, they've they know that they know that what it takes. Tamworth had a very you know good defence. Um, Kevin, you know, he's very dependable and reliable. Finished off the season with uh, with Oxford. Um, so yeah, I've got no no worries about that whatsoever. And say all three of those targets, um, you know, I've been looking at for over a month uh, and talking to them for that that month really whilst um, you know they were available. And so it's it's um, pleasing, very pleasing. If we take Steve Foster in particular, now David, if I, shall we say, wanted to walk down to a bookmakers later on today and say that Steve Foster is going to become the next Mansfield Town captain, yeah. there'd, yeah, be a, yeah. there'd be a lot of things, wouldn't there David, that you know you could see from the outside that would, right. that would suggest that he will be the next Mansfield Town captain. Your thoughts on that? Um, he's certainly a candidate for it, isn't he? He brings the elements that you look for. I mean, 
uh, I was captain of every team I played for, so I was, you know, I like the the, the type of style that Steve brings. Um, there's a there's a few. I mean, Chris Chris Smith's been a ca captain of his club, so we'll look at that in pre-season. But I want 11 captains out there this season, and not just uh, just one boy with an armband on. Um, you know, we, we we need that that strength. But likewise, you know, Steve brings their attributes to the club, which is why why I brought him in. If we would say, you know, through those candidates that Steve Steve Foster had, shall we say, tick the most boxes mm. to fill to fill the vacancy of of the match day captain, would you agree with that? Yeah, totally agree. So is he going to be the captain? The effect of losing my next question. We'll see in pre season. <laughs> it's one of those that is it, David, where you're going to until the training squad comes back together in its entirety. A long time before then and now, and um, obviously you know Steve. Uh, Goes about saying I've, I've discussed it with Steve, and we'll see where we are in pre-season. There's no urgent rush to, to name that that, that captain. Um, and as I say I think that you know you look at Alan Marriott, you look at Gary Silk. They both um, are players that have stepped up in character and certainly shown their ability. So it'd be um, it's exciting. I think it's, um, it's it's good to have a choice. Exciting, you've used that word there, David. Judging by fan reaction, there seems to be a lot of excitement about the players that you've brought in over the past couple of weeks. In terms of other signings, now I know you, you've said that you won't speculate about signings in the press, but there are other areas in your team, are there, that you, you still feel need strengthening? Well, obviously, you know, players have departed Field Mill and obviously you've had to replace them. Um, so I'm looking at uh, maybe one or two others. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think if there was going to bring, if I said to you, the three would be the maximum that I'd bring in. But that would depend on other players uh, departing as well. Um, we'll see about options there. I've had a few, um, obviously, phone calls and discussions with managers um, at other clubs regarding a couple of our players. And if they follow that up and we feel it's um, the right time for them to depart, then um, I'll look at every situation and, and obviously make sure that I've got a candidate to, to bring in. I've got a, you know, there's a list of profiles that fit the bill at the moment, but um, you know, there's no rush.